New at 530, Killers of the Flower Moon is up for 10 Oscars Sunday night at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Quite a few. Mm -hmm. Fox 23 morning anchor Ron Terrell talked with Scott George, a nominee up for Best Song, who will also be performing at the Oscars. God, take us back to the origins for this song. What went into putting this composition together? Well, we were asked to uh, uh, be part of the movie, and uh, we had our reservations because most of us were traditional singers, and we uh, carry all the music for our dances and our our traditions. And uh, uh, it was we were afraid that they were going to ask us to perform that our ceremonial dance out there, and. Uh, we don't even allow recordings or, or photographs of our dance. You know, when we hold them in June, uh, you know, the public's invited, but we don't want them recorded and, and uh, exploited in any other way. So when they asked us to, to do this, we thought about it for a little while and they kind of gave us the rundown of where it was gonna go and what how they were gonna do it. And it was, wasn't much anything more than, than a powwow, you know, which people are, especially in Oklahoma, are familiar with. And so uh, uh, we thought, okay, well, we can do this. You know, we can do this. And then they started, well, what kind of, what song are you going to use? And, uh, you know, all of our music is uh, uh, hundreds of years old. Um, a lot of it has uh, uh, people's names in it that could be traced all the way, all the way back. Some families can trace those names back. And I thought, well, that we, we knew that wasn't going to be appropriate to use those. Uh, and so, so the only way we're going to get around this is to uh, uh, compose our own, our own song. Could you have ever in your wildest dreams imagined you would be up for an award of any kind in the same category as Billie Eilish? Does that seem just outrageous to you? <laughs> Completely outrageous, yes. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, people have asked me, well, how's it feel, you know, and all that stuff. And then ever since Jan uh, when they were announced in January, and I still haven't wrapped my mind around it. It's it's uh, there for a while, and I think the first time we were on a Zoom uh, call together, all five of us together, um, we were on there with uh, Paul Williams, and and uh, they they were asking us questions, and and it's like, oh boy, when they asked me this, because they. You know, it was more technical questions about music and, you know, how they come up with a tune and all that stuff. And and I'm like, man, how am I going to answer that whenever they got to me? You know, because it's our, our way of doing things is completely different. You know, we don't have a piano sitting in front of us trying to find the, find the right melody or anything like that. Or, um, but, the, but when you break it down, it's still the same process. It's still a, a, a massaging of a, of a tune that, you know, to make it work for you. So, um, yeah, it is it is outrageous to, to think that I'm sitting there, you know, on the same stage with them and, and uh, you know, John Batiste and, and all of them, you know, uh, uh, Diane Warren. You know, I, I didn't know, I wasn't quite sure who Diane Warren was and you go look her up and man, she's got a song list, you know, mm -hmm. takes up uh, arm long, you know, at least. It's amazing. So, just to be uh, uh, thought of in the same in the same breath as all of that is 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 outrageous. Scott George, thank you so much for taking time with us, and best of luck Sunday night and break a leg out there. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.